So a lot of you guys may know me as a real estate agent on YouTube in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you can see how I started my journey out as not getting any deals until my ninth month of being in the business. And now, you know, starting to get deals with being a real estate agent on the buying side, as well as on the listing side. And now you guys have actually also seen me getting into the real estate investing world and getting my first flip. So in today's video, I want to dive deeper and talk about me starting my own real estate investing company, what I did, what I named it, what is it for, and kind of dive deeper with that, give you guys more of the back end of things so you can really see what's going on behind the scenes of what I did to create this business and just share with you and be transparent with you. So if you're looking to do the same thing, I'm just going to lay it all out and, you know, go for it. So if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. My name is Stephanie Kabidi. I am a real estate agent as well as real estate investor and definitely been focusing a lot more on the investing side of things. But yeah, if you guys are not subscribed, make sure you go subscribe. I'm going to be posting a lot of content regarding real estate investing. I will post some content here and there about being a real estate agent. So if you guys like that kind of content, make sure you turn that bell button on so you guys never miss an upload. But with that being said, let's talk about this new investing company that I started up. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably know my company name, or if you see me on Facebook, you probably saw it on there, but I created the company called Stephanie Buys Houses. Now there was a lot of thought that went into this and crazy because everything kind of happened so fast um, with changing everything and with me kind of changing my full on mindset. It all started earlier this month when I had a meeting with an investor and it wasn't really supposed to be a meeting. It was just going to be like a tour of one of his properties. And we got down, you know, started talking more and started connecting. And he was, you know, curious of what my goals were in life. And I was like, okay, you know, I want 30 rental properties before the age 30. And he was like, why don't you get that now? Why, why wait and do, you know, one, two properties a year until you're 30, since I'm only 21 at this moment. And why not do that now? And he explained how his team got 287 deals in one year in the last year. And I'm like, man, if they did that, why couldn't I do 30? So it just kind of opened up my mindset and kind of just, you know, going backwards from my goals and not having me look forward at my goals and then working that way up. I know a lot of us look forward to our goals by working it up, but what we really need to do is work backwards from our goals. And that really opened my eyes of, you know, with me working with buyers, with me driving around, showing houses, stuff like that. Am I really gonna make enough money to be able to get 30 rental properties, you know, as soon as possible? And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, no, you know, I'm really wasting a lot of my time not being able to cold call for potential deals while I'm just driving around. Okay. Now it's different with listings. I know with listings, you know, basically just get all the paperwork, talk with the seller, discuss the price, put it on the market and kind of um, go from there and negotiate from there, which is so much easier than just driving around the property, uh, driving around your buyers to see property. So it saves so much more time doing listings. And he also told me when you are focusing on something, whatever you focus on expands. And I knew this, but like, when you hear from someone else that's like really successful, it just opens up your eyes so much more. And when he said that, I was like, well, yeah, I'm posting a lot of house tour videos on TikTok, on Instagram, Facebook. And what is it getting me? It's getting me more buyers, which is, you know, great. But like, that's not what I want in the end result. So we we're like, OK, got to really change everything. And he was even talking about how like being a female is like huge in the real estate investing world just because there's so many male like investing in general is just like a male dominant space where it's just so many males out there. So if people start seeing females, they're most likely not going to trust you more, but like it's just different. It's just different and people like different. So just being able to put Stephanie buys houses is something different that I think a lot of people are going to like. I know a lot of people may see like Jim buys houses or Rick buys houses, uh, John buys houses. Like there's so many of those names, but there's very, very, uh, you know, limited of females names. There's not a lot of females out there that are investing. So I think it's huge for you females out there that are watching this. 
you, you got to start. If you are interested in investing, start now. You know, you do have to be 18 to do a lot of like the, the signatures and stuff like that. Um, but start, start as soon as you're possible. Cause it's just gonna, it's gonna be a boost. I wish I started earlier, but let's get back on track. I know I went on a rant there, but yeah, so I started up Stephanie buys houses and just to give you guys some information about what we do, um, what the company is and you know, what we're working on, what we're looking at. The first thing I wanted to touch on is what we do. So with Stephanie buys houses, we're looking to get wholesale deals, but really looking to get flips. All right. So as you can see, I'm working on my first flip. Um, I already have like the connections with like the hard money lender, um, as well as a contractor. So just building up the list of different, um, you know, just building up the list of my team, um, has just been great with this first flip I'm working on. So any potential flips that come my way while I am out marketing for deals, that is definitely something I want to focus on. Um, I do have a profit margin that I want to do if it's going to be for a flip and that's around 30,000, at least make profit of 30,000. If it's going to be a flip, typically if it's below 30,000, then it just makes more sense to wholesale that out. But that's the next thing that we're going to get into, which is wholesaling. This company is also meant to wholesale. So whenever I'm marketing and the deal may not make sense for me, I'm just going to wholesale it out to another investor, make a profit off of that assignment fee, and then just move on to the next deal. So that's what Stephanie buys houses does. And now moving on to why I really created this company. Now, like I said, I do have goals. Like I do want the 30 by 30, but I also love helping people. And this is a great business. I mean, like, especially working with like older people, since I used to be a caregiver, it's just kind of bringing everything together. Like I love the houses. I love talking to people, but I love helping people. And I know a lot of people say that, like it's, it sounds cliche, but truly deep down inside, like when I was working as a caregiver, I had a great time. Um, it just, you know, that season of my life was up and it led me to real estate. So I just think it's, it's great how everything's kind of coming back together and just being able to get back. You know, there's people that are actually in these tough situations, pre foreclosure, tax delinquent, like really tough situations that they're struggling with and just being able to step in and help and be that, you know, solution to their problem. That's, that's a huge thing. And, you know, I'm just very thankful to be able to learn real estate and learn how to do these different types of things to be able to help those people. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering what we're focusing on marketing wise. So the main thing is, you know, cold calling, of course, cold calling is a great way to get leads. Um, we're always looking at the MLS, always looking at for sub by owners on Zillow, as well as Facebook marketplace, all that free stuff right there. I mean, cold calling is not really free because you got to skip trade stuff like that. But looking at that, I'm also utilizing PropStream, which is getting me the list to be able to cold call. Um, if you guys are not familiar with PropStream, oh my goodness, they have like, Oh, so much that you can choose from um, when it comes to filtering down your list, um, making it really targeted to help you get more leads, uh, whether it's pre foreclosures, you want to call tax delinquents, um, high equity list, a low equity list, whatever. I mean, you wouldn't want to call low equity equity list, but whatever you want to section or filter down your list to, you can do that with PropStream. So if you want to check that out, just click the link down below. You can get a seven day free trial. But other than that, another thing that I'm really utilizing that I did start up, but I'm not like, you know, how I am with, with YouTube, with TikTok and stuff like that, but that's social media. So like I said, I did create an Instagram page for it. I did also create a Facebook business page. I'm not sure if I'm going to create a TikTok just geared to this business, um, something to look for in the future, but I already have a website. If you guys want to check the website out, I'll leave the link down in the description uh, so you can check that out or actually go to my Instagram. I'll leave that Instagram in the description and then it will be in the link to that. But it's just Stephanie buys houses if you want to check it out for the Instagram and then stephaniecashoffer.com for the domain for the website. But that's my main focus is really social media. I know with um, being able to create content, I love it. You know, I love creating content. I love the marketing aspect of things. And with me really fully diving deeper with Stephanie buys houses, I think this is going to be huge, um, especially with video content, 
just constantly making constant content surrounded around, you know, the business, surrounded around helping people and just growing the community in general. So another goal of mine is to also help the homeless, um, help the less fortunate, you know, go out, go feed the homeless, go help people that, you know, need help with like student loans that are struggling with student loans with different things in general just being able to take some of those funds sit money aside and be able to give back and help other people like i said within the community and just just help the community to grow lastly guys i know i talked about my company doing flips as well as wholesale deals and you guys may be wondering why not rentals as well i have created a different company that will handle all the rentals so once i start building up my rental portfolio that will go over there but like i said i hope you guys enjoyed this video if it did help in any way make sure you give it a thumbs up go subscribe if you're not subscribed to that bell button on so you guys never miss an upload make sure you check out stephanie buys houses on instagram uh, go give it a follow and with that being said i'll see you guys in the next video peace